did hesitate there nice. for just a second. Well, but nice job. That's not bad. Nice job. You not know, bad at all. Uh, Welcome back, everybody, to our Lucy Goosey Show, bringing you your local news every week. Of course, we got Big Daddy Russ Horton. Amanda Basson is back yes. from her little hiatus. Uh, myself, Lee Lakin, and Leah Lywood. We got Mike Devine in the yeah. studio. Yeah. Some of you might know Mike from, uh, you know, Sea uh, Joy Party Dog Radio. Hello. Oh, and bring it on with the Party Dog Radio. We got also, him in the studio. He's also on Magic, and he's yeah. also on Dave FM. Dave, Dave FM Rocks. as well. Dave yeah. Rocks. Like, it's yeah. just one of those guys that just doesn't stop working. Of course, Leah Lywood helping produce the show with us today and going to be doing some news a little bit later on. And yeah, we've got, uh, of course, the gig guide. Mandy's back with her gig guide once again. And as we get closer to Christmas, we're seeing more and more stuff crop up, like a lot of, you know, a lot more events going on. So there make is. sure you pay attention. And if there's tickets, you've got to make sure you get them. Absolutely. Big Daddy Resort, and we're brought to you by... We're brought to you by Max Tires and have the lowest... Prices and tires, and you really should uh, get in and see Sean as he sits smugly behind his desk, uh, waiting for you to, to say. He always there, to say hello to you, and it's a very friendly place. But I'll give you a suggestion: give him a call before you want your snow uh, tires on. Book your know appointment, man. Because oh, uh, yes. we're, we're starting to get busy with the snows, putting the snows on. So uh, once again, 905-873-9255. eight We're also brought to you by Easy Taxi, who has a new overnight during the week. A lot of people go from Georgetown to the airport, yeah, and from mm -hmm. Acton yeah. to the airport. You wouldn't believe how many people go. You see a lot of posts yep. on the telling yeah. cells yeah. where people are going, yeah. uh, "What's the price?" Yeah. You know, like just inquiring. Most and stuff. of them and are overnight of them, runs. Like. Most of them are overnight runs. So Easy Taxi, uh, starting this Monday, will be doing a forty-five dollar cash on the dash only special between midnight and six. Cash is Monday king. through nice. Friday, and uh, and that's cheaper than Uber. That that and it's cheap. only sixty dollars from Acton, cash on the dash. Yeah. That's still uh, incredible. Instead of, uh, yeah, right below. Uh, you know, local business is fighting back, because really the taxi business was was raped by Uber and uh, uh, whoever they paid. And to, COVID. And no, uh, this was just before COVID happened, and Uber, uh, in my opinion, uh, I, I don't know. There was some shady stuff going on there. Mm -hmm. um, w because taxi companies have to pay insurance. Oh, all the uh, different taxi fees. drivers have licensing. to pay licensing. Special licensing. licensing. Uh, yeah, yeah, you name it. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, there's so many things that go along with that that the cab business really got kicked in the you know what's. And uh, we're, they're still trying to, you know, stumble back. But yep. we're, we're a local company, Easy Taxi, been around forever, always there when you need us. But, you know, you have to remember sometimes that this is a small town. And there's only three taxi companies here. And, and and the interesting part is is that I've said this a few times over the years, but I've never said it here, is that your cab driver is like your bartender. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. The people would get in our cabs, eh, Russ? The stories we would hear from people. Like that show, Taxi Cab Confessions. Yeah. What we should do. Well, it is true. People get in your cab and tell you this stuff. So What we should do is get a webcam in my van and uh, do some... Yeah, but unfortunately, not legal. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, that, that, that's not legal that's, there. That's why tax yeah. cab confessions. Ended Although, up. if you maybe blank the face out and no name, uh, you might get away with a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the reason you want to do it. You want to promote but, yourself. And coming into the holiday season too, we want to remind people: please don't drink and drive. Call a cab. Mm -hmm. Easy taxi eight seven three ninety nine hundred. Quick, easy, boom. And hello to Fred's Towing, of course, as well. Uh, say yeah. hi, and, and of course Amanda Bassett is back. Uh, she was on uh, on. Uh, yes. She, yeah, she was uh, she was working. She, she was, was on uh, assignment in Cambridge over the last uh, couple of weeks, and she's back now. And uh, so she's got the gig guy. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Brought to you by Halton's Women's Place. Yes. And there you go, Amanda. Welcome back. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so first up is the St. George. Saturday, December 2nd, Retro Crush Live 80s Dance Party at 9 p.m. And who doesn't love the 80s, right? Like oh, I not, know. You know. I the swear to God, hair, it's the best era. Hair bands, you know. Back when I had yeah. hair and a waistline, it was wonderful. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, I'd say the 70s are Yeah, for yeah. the waistline, yeah. definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, brother. We're talking about New Year's Eve already. Yeah. Absolutely. 
New Year's Eve, uh, they're hosting their New Year's Eve party featuring Ramblin' Soul. Get your tickets now and ring in the new year with family and friends. Absolutely, and Ramblin' yes. Soul, great band, local uh, Brampton, but still local, and Linda and her band are really mm. good. They do a lot of like variety of music, so there's... Strong voice. Yeah, oh, yeah. she's, she's dynamite. And uh, I've been able to play with them, and they're a great bunch of people. So if you get a chance, book your tickets today. Absolutely. And Barbara Town Pub. Every Friday is Omar DJ Happy Feet. He will be spinning music starting at 8.30 p.m. Now, the Barbara Town, every time I think of that name, I think about, well, can I go in and have a beer and get my hair cut? <laughs> <laughs> really? I shot at tequila. Yeah, let's go with a Mohawk. <laughs> I love the barber town. The wings are great there. Yeah, actually, and, they are. Uh, They're really yeah. good there. Yeah. I saw Larry Melton there a few times, and uh, it's a sweet little myself. place. And the DJ there, Happy Feet. Apparently, Happy Feet. he's a local local guy, and he's he's, well, re he's really good. Actually, from what yeah. I can understand, I've he is. Yeah. Talked to a few people. He is really good. So, check it out. Yes. Okay, and at the Red Harp in Acton, don't forget. I've previously stated this one. Don't forget, this Saturday is their 25th, uh, the 25th, is the Red Harp Turns 8. Wow. Come out and enjoy giveaways, door prizes, and live music with Almost Cool at 9 p.m. Great band, and you get a chance to meet Jason and oh. Samantha. It's an amazing place they to They are go. awesome people. They're my neighbors. I literally right around the corner from my house. And Samantha and Jason, awesome. They did a great job with our reunion, yeah. our radio reunion. And, it, you know, and the thing I like about the Harp is uh, anybody that lives in Acton, it, it's walking distance, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, you don't have to drive, so. Everything's walking distance in Acton. All right, <laughs> all right, you're right. Okay, I stand, <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> Saturday the 9th of December, what's going yeah. on? Okay, Saturday the 9th of December, the Red Harp Ugly Christmas Party. So dig out those ugly Christmas sweaters and enjoy a night of holiday cheer with live music featuring Wicked Truth at Woo. 9 p.m. Yeah. Matt and the boys. Yes. Always, always a great show. And we do, I do, I make a point when Matt's playing, we, we, we take that really long walk to the Harp from my house and go down and check them out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Local boy too. And uh, done very well for himself. Doing very well. Yeah. yeah. Him and the band. Okay. Downtown Acton, BIA. Liam's Mission presents their second annual toy drive from now until December 3rd. Drop off a new toy, all to go to support patients and their families at Sick Kids and John Traveris Foundation. The holiday season this holiday season so they can have a wonderful Christmas. During November, with every donation, you will be entered into a draw for a pair of Leaf Leafs tickets. Drop-off boxes are in Acton, Georgetown, and Milton to make it easier, and a list of gifts needed as well. Uh, you'll be able to find it at, for DL Wilson 349 at gmail.com. Yeah, Deanna, Deanna and her son Liam have been doing great things for sick kids. So if you can help out, and I know everybody's got their hand out this time of the year, you know, and there's a lot of donations and a lot of, you know, food banks and everything. It's great. But this, um, one of my child, uh, children, my youngest daughter, we had to go through sick kids. So um, it's an amazing uh, hospital. It, 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 it I, is. I'm telling you right now. It is good karma. Just do it. Yep. It's you feel a good when thing. you go in there. It, it, Everything's so bright. Uh, yeah. They are. Yeah. They. Um, they saved my daughter's life. So I, you know, I, I have a an attachment to it. So if you can, please. I know even the smallest donation, five bucks. Mm -hmm. it, it goes. It helps. It goes a long way. It does. Okay, Georgetown Holiday Market, Saturday, December 2nd from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., located on Main Street South here in Georgetown, featuring musical, get, uh, musical guests, trackless train, glyce rink for skating, and over 90 indoor and outdoor food and craft vendors. Wow, go. I'm getting hungry again. Yeah. It's <laughs> Christmas time. Yeah. So if you're looking to knock off some unique Christmas gifts, 
and, check it out. And that's it. I've seen a couple of posts on Facebook. And again, don't mean to interrupt, but uh, there's somebody, quite a few people posting. You know what? It, when you buy an artisan's thing, mm -hmm. just like the painting you sold, it's not just helping a local artist, but it it's it's a one of a kind. It is. It's a one off. This is yeah. one off. There's You'll no, never find anything. It's not mass produced. It's not you know you go to Walmart and buy it or Amazon or whatever. So. Yeah. You know what? People check out the local artisans. They had one at Marketplace the other day. I heard it went really well. So you know what, people, this Christmas buy local. What's the What's the store in the mall, Amanda, that you deal with that uh, helped you along with your painting? Oh, the framing place in the framing store. Framing place, yeah. yeah. The framing, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she store. gave me. Sophie was the uh, first person to tell me that my uh, art was good enough to be sold. So. Well. And she gave me my first I'm a start. customer twice yeah. over, so there you go. Yeah. Tell little right there, step right forward now. turns into that big, big, step huge forward. one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I can honestly say I've been floored a few times. Uh, okay, so Royal Canadian Legion Acton 197, Acton City Limits Acoustic Electric and Open Mic Series. There is only two more Thursdays left. The last one being on December 7th. So come on out and let's make these final ones of the season the best yet. And I think that December 7th is the Christmas one they're doing. Yes. And uh, they encourage everybody, like, come out with your Christmas tunes. Like, yeah. they just, you know, very cool. And Harry uh, from Acton City Limits, my neighbor, we all know Harry, met him several times, uh, does a great job. Yes, so. Okay, and it is that time of year, yeah. so we are going to bring this up, and I'm going to keep bringing it up time and again. Both the Georgetown and Bread, uh, Bread Basket and the Acton Food Share are in need of our help. Uh, if you can consider donating a non-perishable food item or going online and making a cash donation, every small donation can make someone's holiday season a special one. Definitely, and uh, like I said, everybody, there's a lot of handouts that people are asking for this time of the year. It just yep. seems to be the, the standard the status quo, but um, you know, we if you keep it local, then our economy mm -hmm. boosts and our, you know, yeah. you start going outside of local. So, you know what, food share, all of that stuff, and, and even our main sponsor of the Get Guide, uh, Halton Women's Place, same thing. So. Yep, absolutely. And they'll leave in at the Georgetown Bread Basket. They have um, taxi uh, uh, scripts, so yeah. you can pay yeah. if you don't. Uh, and, and it's uh, if you ask for a ride home, don't try to lug all that stuff home by yourself. You absolutely. Yep. All right, we got to wrap this up. We're brought to you by Amanda, our Halton. favorite people. Halton Women's Place. If you or anyone you know is in need of help getting out of a difficult situation, the crisis lines are open 24-7, including holidays. The Milton and Halton Hills line is 905-878-8555. Please, whether it's to a trusted friend, a family member, a co-worker, or Halton Women's Place themselves, Please, I urge you to reach out. You are not alone. No, you're not. And uh, we, we encourage it big time. So yes. I see our teleprompter doing a little bit of a dance. It's kind routine. of dancing you around know, here. What? A little twitch. It's got, it's got some Tourette's. Yeah, think, some, you know. uh, <laughs> some Tourette's syndrome. Yeah. I <laughs> think so. All right, we want to thank Amanda mm -hmm. for the gig guide tonight and uh, thank the Halton Women's Place. And of course, remember, Acton Food Share, Georgetown Bread Basket. If you can donate today, we would love that. We would love to see that happening. So uh, it's going to be an interesting Christmas season this year for sure. It will be. And uh, yeah, thanks, Amanda. And like Big Daddy says, and I get to say it this week, from the magic of editing and video, we're going to come back with Lee Hollywood and we're going to sell and tell <laughs> all about your local news going on right here on our Lucy Lucy show. Assume the position. All right, welcome back once again. Magic of editing and uh, wonderful videos, and we have Leah Lywood with us today, and uh, she has her 
cool glasses. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but cool, no, no but... tape in the middle, no none of that. Nope. Uh, this part of the show brought to you by White Owl Legal. You have some uh, disputes, whether it's going on landlord and tenant act or uh, small claims court, that's their specialty. So get in touch with Charles, 289-839-3075, or you can contact them at info at whiteowl.legal. And uh, yeah, if you're having one of those issues, I can guarantee you he helps, uh, helped me out the other day and did a great thing it was wonderful 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 so we're bringing you uh, your local news if I can just quickly I just want to put out there uh, with our talent cell pages please know that we have our usual talent cell page of several years now that um, is called talent cell Christmas or holiday 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 tree and decor um, exchanges and what we do is we have that page for people to post on there if you have any decorations Christmas trees anything at all that will help others it can be for Hanukkah it can be for or Hanukkah it can be for Christmas whatever it is uh, please do check that page out and put it up there and those that need these things they can go there and they can say yeah I'll take that and yeah. uh, we can make sure everybody has what they need for Christmas and we were talking just off the air a little bit uh, a second ago uh, the Raiders have some stuff going on. Of course, some yeah. uh, always great events that the Raiders have going on. Aaron Nagy and the whole team over there do a wonderful job. Uh, but they were talking about Teddy Bear Toss and they're changing some dates. So yeah, keep an eye on their on their website and stuff like well, that. Well, but it, the actual date has been changed. It's a week later. Okay. Uh, so I believe yeah. it was December the 2nd was the original date, I believe. I may be wrong, but I don't think I am. Yeah. Um, but it is on December the 9th. So please mark that in your calendar. Absolutely. December the 9th is the teddy bear toss. That's, that's neat, a, that's that's a neat to see, eh? That's a lot of fun. Right? You see them all flying <laughs> and stuff? Like, it's really cool. It's very cool. So, yeah, you can check it out. And we're going to keep, keep you up to date, obviously, on our pages as well. So uh, make sure uh, keep an eye out. Well, we've got the full Raider report coming up later in the yeah. show. But uh, we have won five in a row. Yeah. Five in Good a row. Job, Way to go, boys. guys. Good right. job, boys. Yeah. Great job. All right. The, the lead story, I guess, uh, one of the big ones this week for Halton Hills is the province of Ontario is dishing out $4.1 bucks for Atura Power's plans to produce electricity by blending hydrogen with natural gas. The announcement came Thursday morning, November 23rd, at Atura's Halton Hills Generation Station, located at Steeles Avenue and Six Line. If you ever wonder what that huge yeah. building is, now you know. Exactly. Uh, Minister of Energy Todd Smith told the gathered crowd the funding from the province's Hydrogen Innovation Fund is for advancing the largest electricity grid connected hydrogen blending project in Canada's history. So it's big news yeah, it is. for Halton Actually, Hills, well, I think. Making history, yeah. right? And so. six line there is the fastest way to Melton. Yeah. Did you know oh, that? Oh, God, yeah. See, oh, yeah. I, always yeah. Went, and I always went the fifth but yeah, line. Portions and the of, fourth portions line's of it are just that fifth really line was rough, missing. though. Like, yeah. fourth line's a little smoother. Fifth, fifth, line. fifth isn't bad. It has its moments, but yeah. fifth is what I always took. I used to go fifth into fifth side road in Melton and depends straight on, over and up in 25. Depends the time of the day, too. Yeah. Right? So it makes a difference, so... So on November the 20th, Halton police officers responded to a citizen-initiated complaint in the area of Delrex Boulevard and Mountain Road South. Oh boy, here we go again. As a result of the investigation, a 65-year-old Halton Hills man was charged with operation while impaired and blood alcohol, alcohol concentration, 80 milligrams or more, within two hours. Wow. Halton Region Police no longer name individuals facing impaired charges, and so yeah. they shouldn't. You know what? I agree, because we still fall yeah. under the laws here in Canada that it, you're innocent until proven guilty. Yeah, court, I, so. I didn't like opening the paper and saying yeah, somebody I know charged or something. You know, well, and it's, it's me, not it's, like they killed somebody. Yeah, it's and, not a good yeah, thing, but like, it's not brutally. You know, it's, and you, know. you know what? I used to hear an ad on TV all the time. It was like, you know what? Good people can do bad things sometimes. And, uh, yeah. It can happen, and, and you don't think about it, and you just do, 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 do. So the stress of we don't know. Society, you we don't know, know the background story behind it all. So pe please, people, innocent until proven guilty. Uh, with traffic concerns in the area worsening, Halton Hills Council has approved speed bumps for the stretch of Five Side Road that runs between uh, Pineview Public School. The project was given the fi a final go ahead by the local politicians during their Monday meeting back on November 20th. A report from town traffic coordinator, Raman Kuti? Kotev. Kotev. Indicates that four speed bumps will be installed along Five Side Road, 
east of Trafalgar uh, sometime this year. While the work was follow, uh, originally planned for 2024, concerned residents asked for speed bumps to be put in sooner following two collisions that occurred within a week of each other due to aggressive driving and high speeds. Aggressive driving within the Pineview School Zone on Five Side Road has been an ongoing concern, commented area residents Kotev, and he explained this in his report. Safety measures in the form of signs, pavement markings were installed over the years with little effect on the operating speeds that go on there, and it is a busy road. Uh, road safety new uh, review determined that traffic calming measures are warranted within the school zone and the project is expected to cost about 40 grand which will come from the town's capital replacement reserve and i think it's a decent project when it comes uh, to well, kids it's a school zone, well, as i right? said when you it comes to kids it, it, you, you have to do everything you can to protect them i was right? coming across king road today and there's like schools way out there but you still got to slow down to 40. the cops are sitting right there good hiring people and you know, I think there's too many in Glen Williams, though. There's, there's got to be. They went a little nuts three, with those, yeah. S- I think there's six if <laughs> yeah. you want to get from Mountain View and you cut across Wildwood there and up through the eighth line. Boom, boom, you're going to hit boom, six boom. speed. Oh, if not more, actually. I think you're, I I think think you're closer. More. I think you're closer to eight, Big Daddy. Yeah, Thanks, but you know, that's too many. It and, is. That's a little much. And I'll say this again the speed bumps at the superstore are way too big. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> There goes the bottom of the car. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. seriously, guys. Imagine people that have those really low oh, yeah, sitting yeah. cars. Oh, I can't get out. <laughs> I can't get out of the parking lot. <laughs> the union representing public elementary school teachers and the provincial government have reached a tentative deal after more than a year of negotiations. There are still outstanding issues, however, with, the, with which the government said will go to arbitration if the deal is ratified. The tentative central deal covers 80,000 teachers and occasional teachers with the Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario. This is the second agreement for ETFO, which reached a tentative deal for its 3,500 education workers on September 22nd and announced on October 23rd that the deal had been ratified with 80% support. ETFO President Karen Brown said the latest deal protects their collective agreement entitlements and also addresses key bargaining goals. And that's for our local uh, info. And now this is from the town. I don't know if this is what you were talking about. No, oh, this is this was something that the town actually sent for us to put up on social media. Mm, okay. This, this is, is uh, yes, I got this so, from so Delia. This is, so this is exactly what we were looking right for. Right from the yeah. horse's mouth. There you go. So the annual holiday show and sale opens on December 5th in the upper Cisnet lobby of the Cultural Center. Don't miss this opportunity to find the perfect gift for the holiday season and support local artists and artisans. Just what we were talking about. 100%. The annual holiday show and sale is a fantastic opportunity to discover and support local ta- uh, talent, uh, according to our mayor, La- uh, Mayor Ann Lawler. Uh, you messed up her name too this uh, week. Well, at least I didn't okay. say what you said. Yeah. <laughs> we won't go there. No, no, never mind. <laughs> While attending the show, visitors are also invited to view the new exhibit at the House and Gallery entitled The Transatlantic Paper Trail Before It Travels to Europe. So don't miss that. Halton Hills is the only Canadian location for this international exhibition, which brings together the creations of Canadian, Swiss, and German artists. The five Canadian artists known as Pentavision include Neville Clark, Linda Camp, Peter Marsh, Lynn Soyer, and Rain Tunley. The five European artists include Swiss artists Conrad Gruber, Reinhard Fleury, and Rudolf Stussi. We, we gave her and this one on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> we gave her this one on purpose. <laughs> and then there's German artist Caroline Coppel and Utra Yaran. Yaran, yep. Doing each, very well. each artist has the freedom to express their unique style as there is no specific theme for this exhibition. This diverse exhibition features abstract realism, landscape, to figurative styles. So yeah, you don't want to miss that. That's no, it's only it's, the place in Canada that yeah. they actually come yeah. outside and, of Europe. And, so and like I said, we or, it's not just local musicians we want to promote, artisans as well. You know, Amanda yeah. Basson, our own Amanda, beautiful pictures. There are yeah. people that just are here, and, and 
support them, man. Like uh, these these people work hard to do this stuff. Well, I have exactly. to be careful because my sister watches this, and I have to be very careful. So shut up talking about Amanda. All right, we got this story word, from the She's Independent, the IFP. A major pharmaceutical <laughs> company has expanded its operations into, nor uh, into North Holland. Inmar? Inmar. Inmar Strategies, which assumed a prominent role in the delivery of COVID vaccines across Canada, announced last week the opening of a third new or third part logistics site in Halton Hills. The 92,000 square foot facility allows specialty pharmaceutical service supplier, which also has a 160,000 square foot distribution and 3PL facility in Milton as well. Uh, they do this to broaden this uh, product storage and the handling facility as well. Most notably, it includes a complex uh, specialty in medications requiring, oh my goodness, requiring <laughs> meticulous temperature control. Uh, you know, they have to be within a certain temperature, otherwise the medications just go, you know, yeah, they do. become render, rendering useless pretty much. Uh, 3L facility provides and coordinates warehousing, shipping, and other logistic <coughs> services on behalf of the pharmaceutical manufacturer or wholesale distributor. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, just the COVID's still around. We're still well, talking coming back. <laughs> well, you know, it's not a whole lot different than the flu and everything else. And I know people well, are going to bite it, yeah. me for that. Is it really but, the flu or COVID? I mean, so. yes, it can be a little more serious for people with those yeah. with issues that it affects, but. Put it in its place and let's just move on. All right, I've Big had, Daddy, we got Old Man Winter around the corner. Old Man Winter, of course, is on the way. And with that, the town of Halton Hills municipal staff, they're busy with preparations for upcoming snow clearing, as we were saying last week. Vehicle testing, employee training, and stockpiling salt and sand are all being done to ensure effective winter control of more than 1,100 kilometers of roads, 160 kilometers of sidewalks, and 27 municipal parking lots. If you add that all up, that's, that's a hell that's, of a lot. That's a lot. People, I don't think, really think about that number. No, you know? they don't. When they live in Halton Hills, they think, oh, it's just a short job. And we have to and do all the work ourselves here. Yeah. So there you go. Transportation and Public Works Commissioner Bill Andrews reminds residents that regional roads like Trafalgar Road and Regional Road 25, you know, the one we all call Highway 25, yeah. and ar arterial roads such as Queen and Guelph Streets are cleared first. And they should be. And from there, Delrex, you know, and we got Churchill Road South and other collector roads are dealt with and followed by local urban and rural roads, yeah. of course. And uh, that's exactly the same thing there. Yeah. Is, uh, <laughs> but uh, this is coming from Halton Hills Today. And by the way, the independent and Halton Hills Today we use, we use the uh, as sources. We use yeah, we'll uh, from the police. Uh, Acton we, Up, yeah. the police, and uh, of course the town of Halton Hills as well, and awesome. the Raiders. Yep. Yeah. So, from Halton Hills today, facing an aging population and growing post-pandemic interest in its recreation programs, the town of Halton Hills say the resulting demand is stretching its recreational spaces. We're starting to burst at the seams, Town Recreation Supervisor Margaret Taylor told Halton Hills today. It was a bit of a slow return post-pandemic to active living programs, and then all of a sudden, this fall, it was like everybody decided to come back. So the classes are filling up, and that's a good thing. It's yeah. a plus, a, but when you don't expect it, it's, it's kind of that sudden, It's yeah. kind of that growing pains thing again. Yeah. According to statistics, pr pr statistics provided by the town, populations of older adults in age groups of 55 and above are all showing growth, thus increasing the load on the municipal programs. In other words, we need to be patient. These groups are growing by an average of 20%. The three categories showing the largest increases are 60 to 64, which is 31%. The ages of 75 to 79 are 30%, and 85 and older are sitting at 24%. That's big numbers. Big numbers. Beautiful, though. No, oh, very cool. And uh, like I say, with Christmas around the corner, there's going to be so many events going on, whether it's Hillsview, whatever. It's, uh, it's going to be huge, so... All right, we got to get to a little bit of sports here. We'll send it over to Big Daddy because he uh, is our sports analysis. I am the sports guy, the armchair quarterback. You know me. Georgetown's softball player brings home the, the bronze from the Pan Am Games. Women's national team earned a spot on the podium after shutting Mexico out 7 nothing. Wow. And, uh, of course, in the final weeks of her collegiate career, our own Don Bodrig, 
pitched four no hitters. Stony Brook University Steewolves, and there were a couple of one hitters and 16 and 18 strikeouts thrown into her incredible 25 day run of dominance. So she won the medal all herself. Right Our on. gal Don, right way on. to go and congratulations. That's amazing. Love Beautiful. it when our local athletes, and you know, even tonight the Leafs lost, we're recording this, the Leafs lost, but Dickinson. Yeah. Jason Dickinson is a Georgetown boy. He scored three goals and beat the Leafs. He got he got a hattie yeah. against the Leafs, yeah. basically his home team. Yeah, really. Yeah. So I, you know, yeah, yeah I was a little like, mm, but I was also happy. But it was like, yeah, hey, good job. Like, <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, I, I, you know, yeah, I, right. I mean, do you like, know how how his mom and dad feel? Like, that's a like, double edged sword, three, right? Three goals against the Leafs. You know, and you're a yeah. Georgetown kid. Yeah. No. Now, the Raiders report the Georgetown Raiders are on a five-game winning streak as they defeated the Caledon Admirals 7-1 to at Moldmasters Sportsplex in an early afternoon game Saturday, rescheduled for the Christmas Parade, which was last week. And goals came from Caleb Nelson, Teddy Puccini, Aaron Andrade, who's becoming my personal favorite, Luke Toon, uh, Carter Riel, Brandon Kakai, and Gabriel Ciarello. Georgetown Raiders are now in third place in the Western Division behind Collingwood and those hated Milton Menace. Uh, Milton uh, Menace. <laughs> next up for the Raiders is a visit to Milton to take on the Menace tonight, Friday night at the Milton Arena, and then home Saturday night at Mold Masters Sportsplex to host Bradford next Saturday at 7.30 p.m. We need more cowbell, folks. We need more cowbell. Okay, come on to the next game and bring the kids and bookmark our website. GeorgetownRaiders.ojhl.ca. And in well, January, watch for the upcoming Twisters. Well, we're going to go in the crowd and have some fun. So. And wear our acting dinner jackets one night and just go in and invade uh, and, Mold Masters. And, well, you yeah, need to sound like, you know, <laughs> Christopher Walken. Hey, we need more cowbell. cowbell. <laughs> I love that. And I love cowbell because it gets you going, right? Yeah, like one minute left. And it's funny because even at my jams through the last summer, because I I got a new cowbell this year, so I had oh. to use I mm -hmm. had to use it. Time. And it was so funny because everybody, as soon as I'd use it, right. more cowbell. We're anyway, we got some right. events coming up. We're gonna get through them real quick. We're near the end of the show, so uh, Leah. Saturday, St. Paul's Anglican Church, Montgomery Christmas Market. Uh, November 25th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., St. Paul's Anglican Church, 14 Adamson Street in Norville. Uh, get started on your Christmas shopping with a variety of vendors who will be selling crafts, knitting, baking, antiques, and more. Admission is free. Good. Free is really cool. Uh, Especially Saint, when you're spending all this money for Christmas. Yeah. St. <laughs> Elias, huh? Elias Ukrainian Church, uh, they have a Christmas market going on. November 25th, uh, 25th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at 10193 Heritage Road in Brampton. There'll be plenty of Ukrainian food, crafts, gifts, a gourmet cookie bar, lunch cafe, and more. And once again, the admission is free. And you got the Acton Christmas well, Market, November 25th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Royal Canadian Legion Acton Branch. Creative Spirit Markets presents over 60 handmade artisans under one roof. A lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, the event is free to attend with donations being accepted for Acton Food Share and for those who want to contribute. Drop in family story time, of course, November 25th, 10 a.m. at the Halton Hills Public Library. Then we've got the Aaron Santa Claus Parade coming up. Uh, on November 25th at 11 a.m. And that is, uh, of course, Music on... in the gallery. Yeah. That's tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. In the gallery, yeah, yeah, from November 25th. So yeah. if you can get a check, uh, check to chance that out at the Helsing Gallery, yeah, great there, idea. And there's also a Haiti Orphanage fundraising dinner, November 25th, 6 p.m., again at the Gellert. Uh, Welcome Home Children's Center, which operates an orphanage in Haiti is hosting a fundraising dinner the evening will also include live music tickets are fifty dollars each for adults or per person sorry or 350 dollars for a table of eight that's a good deal there yeah yeah you're getting got, one free yeah got the milton parade hey big daddy going on november. milton parade's happening of course we've got november 26 1 30 p.m main street milton check out dozens of festive floats at the milton santa claus parade milton transit they'll be stuffing a bus with non perishable oh. donations for the Salvation Beautiful. Army Food Bank. That's awesome. I'd, I'd like to see them stuff it with just a bunch of people. 
All many weekend long, you've got something. Into a bus, <laughs> That's a so. 70s thing. Right? Like the, like the, like the Volkswagen Beetle. Right? 70s, right? exactly. All we did that at the high school. Yeah. All weekend, we've got day. something rotten, musical comedy. And that's happening at the John Elliott Theater. And Norval Studios and Gallery Montgomery Christmas Sale is happening this Sunday as well. And so, so there's lots of stuff going so on. So much stuff going on over Christmas. And uh, we just want to thank everybody, you know, as we come into this holiday season, and Christmas season that uh, you know we've been doing this like four years and thank you all for watching like really we we appreciate all of our our viewers our listeners whatever it is whether it's on the station at Halton Hills online uh, comments on our, our on our pages like the tell and cells and the uh, uh, Halton Hills information pages thank you we appreciate it and we've been brought us. to you by of course. Max Tires, 905-873-9255. And uh, Mike, Mike, get over here. we got Mike Devine in the studio. Yeah, we have, we've we have got Mike the famous Devine. Mike Devine in the studio. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, how's it Don't going? blow his head up now. <laughs> oh, God, no. I remember the first or time. Infamous, I, remember infamous, the, one yeah. I remember the first time that our Mandy met Mike and said, I used to listen to him in the 90s. Yep. I love it. And and dated all of us. Yes. So thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for watching. Have yourselves a great week. We'll be back next week with your Lucy Goosey show. For Big Daddy Russ Horton, Leo Lywood, Mike Devine, I'm Lee Lakin, and Amanda Basson. Thank you. Have a great week. And don't drink and drive. And we'll catch you all on the B-side. For God's sake, say it. Community is driven by community. You navigate. You navigate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I think I did it backwards. But it doesn't nah. really matter. That's the Mike Devine chime. He 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 was the one that said switch it around a bit. Variety is the spice of life. That's what he really looks like. Shut up. <laughs>